everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. We're gonna be talking about the Animal Crossing ColourPop collection. We're gonna talk about why I don't really like Fabletics and I am quitting my subscription after a couple of years of having it. So I'm gonna have everything timestamped below so you can skip around. Also, I did launch channel memberships recently and I wanna thank my first three channel members. I'll have them right here. Thank you so much, I greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing your comments down below. The little icon that members get. So I was going to use the Going Coconuts palette, but I already used it in my most recent Get Ready With Me. So we're going to do uh, the Natural Lust palette from Too Faced. Not the biggest fan. Sometimes you find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, in which case I would recommend it. But paying full price for it, not the best. It, I'm just a sucker for packaging. I talked about this when I was going through my eyeshadow palette collection. And yeah, I don't know. So it is what it is, but I already primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I gave it enough time to set a little bit, because sometimes if I put my eyeshadow right away, it just doesn't perform well. So there's a lot going on right now in my personal life that I wish I could really delve into for this video, but I do have to be a little bit careful. Just I never know who's watching my videos from people that know me from real life. So normally I like to assume that no one watches me, you know what I mean? Except for maybe like a handful of friends. Um, but I never want to be like just assuming that everyone's watching my video. You know what I'm saying? Especially because when you start a YouTube channel, if anyone's thinking of doing that this year, you should. But when you do, you have to keep in mind that most of the support that you get is not going to come from people that you know in real life. It's going to come from internet strangers, which is kind of endearing in a way because it's like wow people actually care people who don't really know you have never met you actually care about what you're filming and uploading and putting up on social media it's just something to keep in mind because it makes sense to think that it's going to be the people in your life but a lot of times i've had friends who like i talk on a daily basis and have never looked at my video i mean they're not obligated to obviously but it does it is an interesting feeling when you start promoting your stuff and most of your engagement and stuff comes from people you don't know anyway i'm thinking of doing like a little youtubers guide to getting started on a youtube channel just like basics coming from someone who is equally as small because i have seen some some bigger youtubers do guides and stuff but sometimes they already have like the best setup ever they already have a, a setup that costs you know thousands of dollars and stuff so i feel like it's cool to hear from a perspective of a slightly smaller channel slightly <laughs> so i'm thinking of doing that air quotes on slightly there anyway back to what i was saying uh there's some things i can't talk about yet but they're just going on in my personal life and it might affect my upload schedule and we'll definitely dive into it a little bit more um after today the day that i'm filming this it's currently 8 a.m i feel like i try to be super optimistic you know what i'm saying like i try to work hard be optimistic and then you get like that one piece of news and you're just like of course of course that's how life is gonna go it's just you know, when it rains, it pours, as they say. That's my favorite saying, because it is so true. When things are going bad, sometimes more things go bad before it gets better. And I know you just have to hang in there. But let me tell you, during 2020, it was hard. And now that we're at the start of 2021 and things are still a little crazy, at least here in the U.S., it's, it's hard, man. It's intense. Here's what the look's looking like right now. I don't think I gave my concealer enough time to set. Sometimes it does this where nothing I put on it is super pigmented. I mean, these are, I blended these all out, so it's fine that it looks this way. But I'm just gonna put a shimmery shade on my lid. We're gonna call it a day. It is currently like 40 degrees, but that is like Fahrenheit, but that is so hot for me. Like I just overheat so much and I have my window wide open and no, no good air is coming in. Like there's just nothing. Going to sleep is hard. Like I like to be cold when I go to sleep because I, bundle up with blankets and stuff and I just feel like it's been two or three days of very mild winter weather and because of it I am just overheating constantly and I really hate it. Alright let's talk about unemployment real quick. So I I'm canceling my subscription to Fabletics. I don't know if anyone here has Fabletics. Basically, it's a monthly subscription and you get like leggings and stuff. The best deal you'll ever get from Fabletics is honestly the first deal, which is the buy two, which is get two leggings for $24. After that, you're signed on to something that's going to charge you every month if you don't skip the month. So if you don't skip within the first five days of the month, you're going to get charged $49.99. And that can be used towards leggings or an outfit, whatever. They have a lot of like sports, like the 
the aesthetic loungewear where maybe you're using it for working out but more than likely you're using it for just hanging out which is definitely what I do with the leggings I use leggings 90% of the time um, I don't like jeans and it's not because I feel like jeans are constricting I just don't like how they look on me I feel like they start off really tight and then they wear off and they get baggy or baggy for my standards and I just I've tried almost every jean in the market I feel like everyone always recommends me um, American Eagle jeans and I don't like them I mean I do like them like the first couple weeks and then they just stretch out on me or something I don't know it's weird I don't like how jeans look so I use leggings 90% of the time 95% of the time um, and I use it for Fabletics but I'm just tired of always getting charged because I always forget to cancel and the reason I can't cancel yet is because I'm gonna lose all my membership credits like every time they've charged me I've racked up over a hundred dollars worth of points at this point so now I can't cancel until I redeem them. There's also something about Fabletics that really pisses me off and I'm gonna tell you as soon as I finish this eyeliner. All right, we got the first eye. What pisses me off about Fabletics is that they market it as amazing deals, right? So you have amazing deals and if you're a member then you get like a special discount rate, sort of, not really. But the problem when you're gonna go to check out is you like let's say there's a Labor Day sale, right? Great prices, everything's like 50% off or something. You can't combine that with your member credits which is weird, you just can't. So sometimes it's just better to just use your member credits and pay full price for every item versus using like the Labor Day 50% off sale or like 60% off sale. And that sucks because those member credits were real money. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like if it's a gift card, even if it is a gift card, it's just weird, it's a weird system to me. And I've seen other people complain, but not that often. People usually just complain about like the price or the, or the quality of the leggings, which I will say, I mean, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I think they are a little overpriced. I think if you go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you can find good, like, active wear there. But the problem is just finding it. Especially with the pandemic right now, I'm not, I'm going to be honest, I don't go out to those stores like that because they get so crowded. One time I was getting ready for work. I'm going to do my other eye. One time I was walking to work in Manhattan and there was a giant, I think, TJ Maxx. And there, it wasn't going to open for another half hour, but the line to get in was so ridiculously long. And I mean, I wasn't going in there. I was just waiting near it because I didn't have anywhere to wait because it was early during the pandemic. So it was at the time when not many stores were open. So you can't just hang out in a store. So I was just like hanging out outside because it was still really cool and mild weather. And there was just so many people going in. And when, they op when the workers opened the door, everyone just like mobbed the entrance. You would think they were having some amazing sales, but it was just like normal. It was a normal day. So I haven't really been shopping like that, obviously, and I'm broke. But in terms of quality and price, you can definitely find something cheaper than Fabletics. But yeah, that's what bothers me, is that I want to be able to use up my points and still get a discount because I paid for those credits. Like, I was charged $49.99 every month for that stuff. So the fact that, ooh, my voice just left. So the fact that I can't do it is just really weird to me. Like, like why are you going to put that type of stipulation? I guess, like... I get it in certain aspects, but not when it comes to, like, member credits. Because, like I said... We're charging, we're getting charged for $49.99 per like month, per account per month. So it's just like, why? The point of me bringing up Fabletics is to say that I am going to be canceling my membership, but I need to place an order first. Um, so I'm hoping that my member credits cover for the entire order so I won't be actually spending any money because like I said, I do have a lot of credits. So I'm just gonna buy some leggings. I don't bother with their sports bras, not because they're bad or anything, but leggings is really all I care about. It's all I really need. It's all I really use. I really don't. I have a couple sports bras and honestly, I don't really work out enough to use them or when I do work out, I just don't wear a bra because I'm working from home. I'm working out from home, so it's not really necessary. But yeah, that's something to keep in mind about um, Fabletics is just that the best deal you're going to get is the very first one and then everything after that, you're going to have to. Oh, another thing. Another thing you have to cancel by calling. You can't just press a button which is super annoying because that's how they try to get you to keep signing up and stuff and it's just... I don't want to call. I don't want to talk to people. I hate talking on the phone. <laughs> I really do hate talking on the phone, but I'm going to do it because I'm just tired of always getting canceled or getting charged. I'm pretty sure I've been with Fabletics for, I want to say like three or four years now. The leggings are very cute, I will admit, but I'm a little short and I don't shop at any petite size section, which I kind of, I feel like I kind of should, but I'm not petite. I'm petite in height, not petite in size. <laughs> so I don't know if that would even apply to me. But I do find that the medium, I wear the leggings in medium, and I do find that they're a little bit long. So if you're t on the taller side, I feel like it's fine. But when you're short like me, I'm five feet tall. It's a bit of a problem. All right, so I'm going to use some concealer. This is from Wet n Wild. I just found this. It's, don't worry, it's not that old. This is the Photo Focus Concealer. 
and it's definitely really light but whatever we're gonna use it because I've really run out of concealer and I don't have any money to buy any more right now so it's fine all right it's really not fine because it's actually quite light but we're just gonna run with it. I'm gonna put a bit of blush. This is from ColourPop's Candyland collection. This is in the color Gummy More. I have hit pan on all the other shades, so I'm really happy that I'm actually kind of getting my money's worth and using these products up. <sighs> have you seen the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection? What? That one looks, it doesn't even look that great. It's the packaging. I am a little disappointed, like a lot of other people, about their choices when it comes to the eyeshadow palettes because they're teeny tiny mini ones, and I feel like a lot of people were expecting like the nine shadow palettes um and i think they did it because they wanted to attract more people like i feel like they wanted more versatility with their artwork like to be able to put it on multiple palettes and i think they wanted to get as many people buying as possible because i feel like if they had them all like this like let's say three or four of them i don't remember how many there are of the minis um i think they feel like people wouldn't buy as many do you know what i mean so maybe that's why they did it that way but I definitely feel like a, a bigger palette like that would have been nicer than what we're currently getting. Don't feel like the colors are super amazing or anything. It's really the packaging. It's, it's truly the packaging. I wanted some lip glosses there too, not like the jellies. So I'm just going to put a lip gloss on. This is Tiramisu from NYX. It's their butter glosses. But I'm still probably going to try to get the Animal Crossing one. I know I'm on a no-buy, but I did mention it in my no-buy. I mean, I don't have the money for it, so I probably won't get it. But you know we'll see up, all right close up this is what it looks like very natural it's a very similar look to what i did with the color pop um going coconuts palette except the blush is different different and my lip color but yeah if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching special thanks to my members for joining the channel membership like i said earlier in this video i am super duper happy and blessed and so grateful for the support i will leave all relevant links down below and i'll see you next time bye <music>